Hello and welcome back to episode two of Liverpool Stopping the Rot. And uh, yeah, last time out, obviously, we introduced the save, the team, what we're doing, the transfers. We say what we're doing, we don't really completely know what we're doing still. It's going to revolve maybe as a challenge, as an idea, as a save as, as we go. Uh, we also played a couple of games. We played Southampton, Crystal Palace, and today we take on Derby and Kiera Spore. We've also got a few more little updates, sort of transfers, that sort of thing. But before we get into that, if you are new around to the channel, please hit that subscription button down below, hit the like button, and let's get cracking. So um, I think I mentioned it possibly in the last episode, but we're looking at roughly a schedule of doing one episode per calendar month in the in the you know in the diary of the season. So we we had obviously our August game last month. We'll pick a couple of games for September, play those, do the same for October, unless there's a month where maybe there's a lot of good games, and maybe there's a following month or or something where there's a bit you know a bit of dross maybe we might try to double up or something and go a bit longer but that that's to be seen as it goes hopefully there won't be any kind of schedule um fixture you know the fixture generator hasn't done something like that to us and there's a bit of an interesting spin every month plus we are in the UEFA cup so that will add a bit of a flavor in some months as well uh so off camera uh we had our first loss of the season which was against arsenal obviously they got humbled by wimbledon on the opening day of the season or the second game of the season. They went down to 10 men on 70 minutes, but we just couldn't do anything in this game. Uh, we had our chances, but good old safe hands kept them out. Uh, Berger was also out missing in this game, uh, which was a bit of a disappointment. Uh, we, regarding um, old safe hands, I don't know if it's going to happen by the time this video comes out, but I am actually going to an Arsenal talk. It's going to be with David Seaman, I think it's Ray Parler and Perry Groves. Uh, it's my big 4-0 this year, so my sister and brother-in-law bought me that they had to let me know a little bit early in advance because it's in i think it's in april possibly yeah i think it's early april so this should be out by then hopefully um so that'd be good that'd be interesting to see Look, obviously love david seaman love ray parlor i do remember perry groves as well back when i first started supporting arsenal he was just sort of in and around i remember getting the old vhs season reviews and that sort of thing and him being on there but yeah we couldn't do anything in this game ian wright of a double marco miles getting one as well it looks like he's playing up front, or maybe Dennis Bergkamp is, I'm not sure. We did go on back for him at Manorman, but yeah. We did have a transfer come in about this point, but we'll go over the transfers. You'll probably see them on the some of the sub-benches and some of the lineups, but we have had a few more. We'll go through those in a moment. In fact, well, no, we'll jump out and just do the transfers now, and I'll tell you when they came in. So we did add uh, John O'Connor from Sheffield United on a Tribunal 1.2. He's very good. I wanted to get another English centre-back in. Um, he can play right back as well. He's very good, very young, someone we can use going forward in the future. And I've had him a few times on various saves and he's he's always done me well. So I don't know if anyone was sniffing around him, but I, I just leapt on it and thought, you know what, we're going to go for him. Uh, Robert Page, we did have someone um, bidding for him. I can't remember who it was, but I think it was Villa and Blackburn maybe. I think Blackburn are a bit of a running theme in all honesty. Uh, but we did go, we went in as well. Tribunal, 2.3 million. I think that's a bit of a bargain. Uh, he can't play in the UEFA Cup. So we have got to keep hold of, you know, some of the guys we've got at the moment. So that's a bit disappointing. You know, we couldn't sell, try and sell Mark Wright or uh, maybe Kavame. But Kavame's started like a house on fire. So maybe I don't want to sell him just yet. Uh, but yeah, Robert Page, he comes in. That's a fantastic signing again for the future. Uh, again, we had um, Biscord. Uh he signs for £5 million. It was, again, a tribunal. They set it at five. They set it quite high. I'm hoping that wasn't more than what it was worth because I would have just paid what it was worth. It may well have been. Um, my phone's going again. I'll have to get that in a moment. I'll pause in a minute. But, yeah, uh, he was wanted by uh, Sheffield Wednesday, Blackburn. They were all sniffing around. So we, we plumped a bid in. He chose us, obviously. And he uh, offers us a bit more attacking midfield support. Uh, so he'll be a good signing going forward. Uh, I think I did release maybe one or two more players as well. Um, Brazier got released. I ended up just releasing him. He's not wanted. I don't think he's going to make much. We did loan David Thompson to Bradford. He started okay. And Phil Babb went to Fulham, which we may have already seen. I'm not too sure. No, I don't think so. I think it's happened since the last episode. But yeah, he goes to Fulham. Maybe it did get seen. I can't remember. But he's off. Yeah, he's off. Uh, not interested in, in him at all. We've got one more squad space if we want to use it. Got a few players wanted. Unfortunately, not a lot of them aren't players we want to sell. Fowler's back from injury. He hasn't done much. He's made one sub appearance. Goodnarsson is now wanted, so we're going to try and offload him to Stockport. Kennedy is now wanted by a few teams. Um, other than that, I don't think Friedel's wanted yet. And um, when's his contract? Oh, he's got a long old contract. We can't even look at freeing him. I don't think. What would that cost us? A million pounds? Yeah, we don't want to be doing that. Maybe we'll just try and start him in a few games, keep his work permit going, 
I think we're going to need to. Uh, Carragher's wanted, he's listed for loan, but yeah, Tottenham, okay, interesting. I mean, they're com- competing with us at the table at the moment, which we will look at. Uh, back to fixtures, we then followed that up with a 4-0 win against Wimbledon. Obviously, they beat Arsenal 4-0. Arsenal beat us. So then we, of course, obviously go and beat Wimbledon 4-0. Steven Gerrard with a goal, got his first first goal of the season. Uh, we dominated this game, really. Uh, Owen, open scoring. Patrick Berger back in the team. It was an international duty for some reason. He was still away. Uh, Gerard got his first goal two before half time, very close together. And then Riedler on the hour mark. Sealed the game, 4 0. We are very, very happy with that. Um, in terms of the UEFA Cup, we did draw Kaira Spore, as we mentioned at the start of the episode. That's who we got today. I thought I'd actually said it already, but I hadn't. So, little spoiler alert at the start of the episode there. But yeah, we've got Kayseri Spore in Turkey, one player. We should have fairly easy sort of getting over them, really. Uh, we then had another 4 0 win this time against Barnsley. They were doing quite well in the league, in all honesty. Um, they they were fifth, I think, when we took them on, maybe fourth, something like that. They've dropped a little bit now after this result. But three goals for Michael Owen gets his hat trick. Riedler Owen's in for Dundee. I think he picked up an injury in one of the games. Uh, did he pick that injury up? Where did he pick that injury up? Maybe it was in our game. Was it in the Palace game we played in? Yeah, it was. So we already knew about that injury. Uh, and then we had uh, Leicester. Very close game. 3-2 here. Um, they equalised immediately after I made my subs. So if you look, we made our subs on 75 minutes. I say I subbed all three players. And 76 minutes, Scott Taylor equalises. But we did grab a late winner through Riedler. Sealing his hat-trick. We didn't take him off. Uh, and they had a player of ours playing, I believe. Uh, oh, no. Oh, Heskey left. And then Matthew Janssen. Oh, I was looking at him. He went to Leicester. Uh, he got subbed off of... You know, fairly early, really. But yeah, good good, good results there all round. And in terms of the league table, it does keep us on top. Uh, not by much, only by a point. Goal difference, very, very healthy. The goals scored were conceding more than sort of the sort of top four, five. Top four, certainly. But we've outgunned, outscored everyone. Apart from Arsenal, they, they had a go at us. Barnsley and Arsenal still there in fifth and sixth. Yeah, so that's, okay, something to look out for. Uh, Chelsea are still down there. West Ham are still down there. Coventry are still down there. Uh, there's a few teams you might think will drop. I mean, Chelsea do get relegated quite often in this game. Um, but I've got to go and return that phone call. So I'm just going to pause the recording and then we're going to jump into the Derby game. Back for you in a second. OK, we're back. And I've forgotten where we were. I f- uh, and the mic just completely whacked me in the face, which is another little injury I've got to deal with today. So I'm ju- I'm supposed to be going out for my run today. I'm going on holiday on Friday, so I'm trying to just... Do whatever I can because I'm going to have a few days of off, obviously, if we're not running. I'm not taking my gear down there. I'm only there away for a long weekend. But I went out for a run yesterday. Absolutely got wiped out, tackled by like an exposed drain cover or something. I don't know what it was. I, it was a, it was a, across the road earlier than I normally would. Toe caught it. I think I've broken my toe. I'm not, it's still really sore. I'm not 100% sure. It's very sore to move. But I mean, you can't do nothing for a broken toe anyway. I'll just carry on with it. It's fine. I used to play football with broken toes and all sorts. So I can live with that. Absolute scrape down my arm, scraped down the back of my arse, side of my leg. <laughs> Absolutely purple. My hands are raw and cut open. And just the, the worst thing, though, it was just the aches. I don't know whether I just tensed up and pulled every, practically every muscle in my body and just really sore all last night and all this morning so far. So that'll be the, that'll be the hurdle we have to, I have to try and get over. But I'm going to force myself. It's, it's fine. But we're jumping into today's game. So this is the lineup we're going to go with. We've got David James in goal. Dominic Matteo and Robert Page taking over from injured Kavame. Uh, Lee Hughes. Is it Lee Hughes? I think it's, yeah, Lee Hughes. Paul Ince, Jason McAteer, Stephen Gerrard in the middle. Uh, Patrick Berger, Stephen McManaman. And then we've got Owen and Riedler up top. We've got Fowler on the bench if we need. And Biscord is in as well. He hasn't played for us just yet. Uh, John O'Connor, Kieran Dyer and Billy Mack as well. He's he's our um, Gary McAllister, old Billy Mack. So, and our Sunez replacement. But we'll jump in. Derby first. And three minutes, Patrick Berger. I do think that Arsenal game, a big problem with that game was the fact Patrick Berger wasn't playing and we had someone in. We didn't have Bisgord at the time. We had a few injuries. We had, obviously, Leon Harton injured. He's back now, just getting back to fitness. I think we had to play Danny Murphy and he maybe was quite, wasn't quite ready for such a big game. Um, Riedler has just amazed me. He's definitely gone on my list of players to sign. And despite his age, he's 31, I think. He just bangs in goals for fun. There we go again. There's another one, 10 minutes on. Riedler, 12 minutes, he's got a double. He's going to easily, if he stays fit, be our top scorer this season. And he was actually the one I was looking at trying to move on. We've got Owen and Fowler, that was going to be the, the the two up top, and then whoever we could bring in around them behind. But 
do you know what? Fowler's actually probably going to struggle to get in the team. Owen, he might get Owen's place, but Owen's done very well. We've got Dundee as well, obviously, in, in there. He's, he's started off quite brightly. Maybe not as brightly as we'd hope. But McManaman makes it 4. 4-0 before half-time against Derby, who I don't think have started the season too badly. It is disallowed. But I think they've started the season quite brightly. I think they're in the top half, certainly. But if we get to half-time, 3-0. Could have been 4, should have been 4. Paolo one chop on the bench. Bizarrely, probably one of their better players. Maybe he wasn't in this game. But at the time, he certainly was. I remember that his debut goal. Was it his debut? Possibly against Man United. But Owen grabs his goal in 46 minutes. But yeah, you get that goal where he just basically run from inside his own half, dribbled past. I mean, I say dribbled past the whole team. It wasn't really. He dribbled past a couple of players. They weren't defending very well, Man United, that day. And then just slotted it past, I think it was Peter Schmeichel. Um, Darby have had a few chances in this game, but they haven't been able to take them. Um, Sturridge up there is still, of course. Um, I remember him being linked with Arsenal back in the day. Fortunately, we didn't sign him. But Manaman scores again. Is this one going to be allowed? He does get his goal. And on 66 minutes, 5-0, I think we can start looking at maybe making some changes. As they pull one back, I think it was Sturridge, maybe Rowett. It's been disallowed as well. E equality, we like to see it. 75 minutes now, so we're going to bring Fowler on for uh, Karl-Heinz Riedler. We're not going to let him get his hat-trick. Morton Biscard's going to come on for Patrick Berger, who's booked. And we're going to bring Billy Mack on for Paul Ince, who's got an 8. We're going to bank the 8. Um, we're just trying to give a lot of these sub players a bit a bit of time as much as we can. Um, obviously, we've got some young young guys on the bench. We're even getting the sub appearances, you know, 15, 20 minutes. It all adds to the attributes and time on the pitch, and hopefully the development will come with that. But 5-0, we're doing well. We've got Lee Hughes on the left back as well, of course, left wing back. It was going to be beyond B, but we've stuck with Hughes, and he's started again very well this season. A 7 there. He's averaging a 7. He's not a mate doing amazing, but he's doing okay. But 5-0 against Derby. We're going to maybe rotate the team a little bit for the UEFA Cup. But we'll come back for that shortly. See you in a moment. Okay, so that's the results. And I just noticed on the way, as that was sort of loading out, David James got man of the match. I mean, did they do that much? They had a lot of shots. Wow, they were more in the game than I thought they were. So David James, they had more possession as well. <laughs> what was that about? Okay, but we won 5-0. So who cares? Blackburn beat Tottenham, that's good. Tottenham have dropped down to fifth. Blackburn are still up in second. Uh, where are Man United? They're the team, yeah, 3-2-1 against Everton. They're still the team we've got to keep an eye on, even though they're still only down in third. They're still only a point behind us. Arsenal there, Tottenham are slipping away a little bit now. But yes, yeah, Derby, 10th. Not, not a bad season for them so far, but we'll play through to the K Era Sport game. Um, it should only be a click or two. I think it's on the Thursday. We go for Cup. Tuesday, Wednesday, Champions League. I can't remember how it used to be. I think it was Thursday for Cup Winners' Cup and UEFA Cup. I don't think they had their own days. Maybe they did. Maybe Champions League's on a Tuesday. One was on a Wednesday. One was on a Thursday. I vaguely remember Cup Winners' Cup being on a Thursday. But UEFA Cup, not too sure. Aston Villa appointed Jack Charlton. Did they sack John Gregory already? Okay. Seven months of York IF. That's a big injury. Trevor Francis at Birmingham. So Aston Villa getting their manager sacked. Brian Horton sacked at Brighton. I didn't even know he started at Brighton, to be honest. I remember him at Man City. In the early 90s. I remember him in the sticker album. Okay, it's a Tuesday game. Okay, Serious Ball. We're going to jump straight in. We're going to give Friedel a game. We're going to put... Uh, we're going to go with... All right, so Page can't play. So Mark Wright's going to come in. And where's the other centre-back? Where's the other centre-back? Am I completely... It's Matteo, isn't it? Uh, we're going to go with John O'Connor and Mark Wright. Uh, we're going to have yet on the bench. We've got... Rob Jones going to come in at right back. We've got Bjorn B going to come in at left back, I think. I think that's what we're going to go with. Yep. Uh, we're going to bring Carragher in at centre midfield. No, we're going to go Billy Mack. We'll have Mack on the bench. I don't think we've got anyone particularly to play the middle spot. Do you know what? Even Leon Hardson's going to go in the middle spot. Uh, Leon Hardson, Leon Hardson. There we go. Uh, Bisgard is cup tied, which is very annoying. Um, Dundee's maybe not quite fit just yet, but we probably will play him. And we're going to stick Good Narson on the bench. Berger for Kennedy. Murphy for Stevie Mack. We've got Dyer on the bench. We can give him some time from there. In fact, do we do that over Jones? We do that Jones for Dyer. Dyer's going to play right wing. Right wing back. I think we've kind of rotated as much as what we can there. Let's play the game. Okay, so we should still have enough for this team. I'd save what we got out there. 
Got Robbie Fowler playing, making his first start of the season back from injury. Dundee's just making his way back. So there's some good players. Leon Hardson making his first start back after injury as well. So we've got some players that are good enough to maybe start a lot of games, but are playing really just for fitness, get back from, inj- back from injury at the moment. So we have weakened the team, but not hugely. Uh, we should still have enough to come through this game quite comfortably. But you never know. It is the UEFA Cup. It is Europe. It is, you know, big competition. They are an underdog. They can, you know, take advantage of a bit of weakness or strike on you and, you know, cause a bit of an upset. A bit like the FA Cup, there's a bit of an upset to, to be had. We have got some weaknesses in certain positions where maybe we have been getting goals. So obviously, Patrick Berg has been quite pivotal to us. We've got Mark Kennedy there at the moment who is listed. Uh, he is wanted as well. We might have to actually think about maybe not selling him. Although, they're saying that, we, we probably don't need to. We, but it has shown maybe where we need some other um, positions. Uh, we are probably going to bring Carragher in, I think, for Mark Wright, who's got the injury there. We're going to give him a go at centre-back. Obviously, a centre-back more in real life. He did start as a bit of a midfielder, but he did become a centre-back. So we're going to give him a try. We'll let him try it out. We should hopefully not be too tested today. We haven't seen too much from them so far. We've had a lot of chances, but we haven't managed to sort of break the resolve just yet. And Carragher makes an injury and they score. Oh, now I fancy us still what we do. If I have to put a full team out at Anfield to do it. But if we get even just like we have now, immediately get an away goal, it puts it all back in our advantage. I think we'll still do it at Anfield. If we need to, like I say, put a bit of a stronger team out in the home leg, we'll do that. I think we'll be okay. But this is not going exactly to plan. Who can we who can we bring on? Anyone we can bring on. So let's bring Rob Jones on for Kieran Dyer. He's played 70 minutes. And Fowler's really not doing very much, is he? I don't really want to bring Good Nelson on. I'm going to keep Fowler out there. Dundee with a chance to make it two. Doesn't manage to do so. 85 minutes for Murphy. Fowler. Oh, I thought he was going to reward me for not taking him off thing with an immediate kind of... Dundee... Oh, we just haven't been able to take our chances in this game. I don't really understand it. We have absolutely battered them. They've had two chances, shots on target and they've scored one of them. I mean, their goalkeeper man of the match, not even a real player. He's he's terrible. Not the real Alpi, but he's Alpi in defence. Yeah, so one all, not the best result. But there's an away goal and there's enough there I think we can... Even if I put a similar team to this out, I think we'll do it at Anfield. Um, the formation does seem to be give itself more to home games I have, I have noticed um we've done quite well generally but that probably go down as a poor result or oh, red naps back as well right will be out for a few weeks so he he should be back for the next leg it's a few it is a few weeks away i think yeah it is it's end of september so it's about two weeks away not quite two weeks maybe now where are we going to come back we're not going to play the care of sports second leg we're going to come back probably for this leeds chelsea tottenham group of games we've got the everton game in there as well haven't we um Leeds, Chelsea, Tottenham. Let's have a look at the Leeds table. Obviously, Tottenham are up here. Chelsea are down the bottom. Leeds must be down the bottom as well. Okay, Leeds Leeds and Chelsea isn't that big of a deal. So what we'll do then, we'll maybe come back for Tottenham and Everton. Tottenham Everton. Oh, we've got Man United straight after as well. That is November though, so that's fine. That's not a big, that's not a problem. And then we're practically getting around to um, halfway point again. So, yeah, we'll come back for Tottenham at home, Everton at Goodison Park, Merseyside Derby, of course. Yeah, so if you enjoyed today's episode, smash that like button down, down, down below. If you're new around the channel, enjoying this sort of content, smash the subscription button. It's key, it's going to keep coming. Um, I'm getting quite ahead of myself now. I'm getting a few say, getting a few episodes in the bag, if you like, and I'm good to go. The mojo's back. I'm enjoying the same. I'm enjoying the team. I'm enjoying what we can do. So, yeah. Until next time for that double header with Tottenham and Everton, I will see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.